From the Phoenix Convention Center in Phoenix, Arizona, it's The Q at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. Here is your host, Jeff Frick. Hi, Jeff Frick here. We're on the ground at Phoenix, Arizona at the Phoenix Convention Center. We're at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing. It's the 14th annual conference here. Over 8,000 attendees, a lot of great energy, ton of tracks on education, actually a job fair. Um, Satya Nadella gave the keynote earlier today. So we're out bringing you the story, trying to get the smartest people we can find, ask them why they're here, why it's important. And we're really excited here to have Desi Gosby, I keep writing a R, Debbie Gosby. She's a chief architect for mobile for Intuit. Welcome. Right. Thank you. So mobile is like the hottest thing in tech right now, cloud mobile social. So what are you, what are you working on? How is um, Intuit's mobile strategy changing in these uh, exciting times? Yeah, I mean, mobile is a huge part of Intuit's strategy. And, you know, we've got, you know, 20 plus different mobile offerings across the company. And, you know, the, the team that I work with basically is responsible for building out, you know, all of the infrastructure that goes into all of our applications to make sure that we're really delivering a, a, an awesome uh, experience for our customers. I mean, over time, you know, what we're seeing is more and more of our customers are, you know, doing the work that they need to do, you know, using these mobile devices, whether it's, you know, the phone, tablet you know we're looking into wearables uh, you know it's starting to get more ubiquitous you know with the with the internet of things so it's uh, yeah it's a huge part of our strategy huge growing part yeah and 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 this whole concept that regardless of the device regardless of the way I access That's the information right. right I want the same experience even though probably from a delivery point of view a six inch iPhone versus a 12 inch uh, pad versus a laptop, not not quite the same thing. Yeah, that's right. And our customers, and they want to do their work wherever they are, whenever they um, um, whenever they want to do it, no matter what device it is uh, that they're on. And we've got to be there, and we have to be able to deliver and deliver the right experience at the right time. Yeah. And, and I've always been impressed with Intuit for for years. They're constantly sending notes. You know, we're having a, a user a user survey. We're having a user event. Come on in. Let us watch you. You know, work with 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 the tools. And and I imagine now you're probably automating, getting to automate that a little bit more on the mobile side. Yeah, I know it, it's definitely been a journey just basically figuring out what are the ways and techniques that we can um, that we can uh, uh, apply, um, you know, to, to get uh, our experiences into our, our customers' hands as quickly as possible. In the case of mobile, uh, it's not about coming into the lab necessarily and, you know, watching what it is that people do. It's like getting the device into their hand, the experience in their hand, and then sort of um, um, watching, um, you know, behind the scenes what it is that they're doing in, the, in their actual uh, environment and then using that and that information to make the experience better. Right. Uh, so yeah, so a lot of things that we're, we're, we're doing to basically push that forward. So let's shift gears, talk about the conference. So you said you've been here uh, coming for a number of years. What, how many times have you been? So uh, over the past, I'd say seven years, I've been uh, three times. Okay. And uh, you know, the conference has changed a lot. Uh, so this is the first time I've been in about three years. Okay. Uh, the last time that I was here, the conference was about a third of the size that it is now. Uh, and I have to say, you know, the just the size, uh, you know, the number of women that are here, that the types of, of uh, content, uh, and the speakers that we uh, that are here, uh, it's just amazing, and just um, the people that we're meeting is it's fantastic. So. And, and why are you here? I mean, why have you been coming, you know, on and off for seven years? Why is it important to you? Why is it important to Intuit? I mean, you know, it's a huge opportunity for us to get uh, in contact with amazing technical talent. Uh, you know, uh, it's. Uh, um, you know, you just get to meet interesting people. You get to find out more about in interesting research. Um, you know, you make connections that you wouldn't have ne necessarily made before. Uh, you know, even just yesterday, you know, I was during the, on the poster sessions and talking with some of the ama amazing PhD candidates, and I've made a couple of a connections for my own team, you know, for research that we want to basically bring in and partner with, um, you know, with uh, with our team, and we otherwise wouldn't have had the opportunity to actually do that. And that's just going to make what it is that we do better. Right, so. right. Well, you're the second person that, that we've had on that have really said access to, to really top flight talent is, is really unmatched at this show, um, which is great. That's why we like to come out and learn what's going on, because we've never been here before, but, uh, you know, we said you guys got to be out there, so we're glad we're here. So let's talk, shift gears a little bit, talk about your journey, um, because I think it's, it's, 
it was, we've uh, explored a number of times, you know, it's good for girls coming up, young women coming up, to have mentors, right? To see, oh, I can, I can do that. This is a person that I want to, you know, follow, emulate, et cetera. So what can you share about your story, both in college and then also in your, in your professional life that yeah. is of relevance? Yeah, I, you know, um, mentorship has been great. Um, and, you know, at the conference we've talked a lot about also sponsorship. I know that that person's going to sort of go out of their way to basically create opportunities for you. And, you know, I was really fortunate. Um, you know, to basically in college, um, you know, I actually started out in electrical engineering, but through the internships that I actually had, um, you know, I had a, a really great mentor and sponsor um, who went to the same school that I did, who really took an interest and watched what it was that I did and said, hey, you know, I really think that you should, you know, spend more time, you know, in computer science. You're good at it. Okay. <laughs> and, um, you know, I think this is something that you could be successful at. And so, you know, he was great at sort of coaching me, you know, and, and uh, um, helping me to sort of see, you know, the different things that I could actually do uh, and then that translated you know when I started to go into industry as well um, you know I just I loved it you know he was right I really loved community science and the things that I could do the things that I create the sort of immediacy of being able to you know write some code and actually see it working um, you know immediately and getting it into customers hands and um, you know developed you know the right sets of mentors and sponsors you know um, and when I was at um, uh, at IBM, and um, you know, they've been, uh, you know, uh, when I was at IBM, you know, they were great, uh, basically, you know, helping me to sort of realize my potential, pushing me, you know, where I needed to go, and that's translated all the way, you know, uh, to Intuit as well. We have a great um, CTO, Taylor Stansberry, uh, who is, um, you know, was the reason I am the actual chief architect for mobile at Intuit, and Cheryl, I know, and my boss, who uh, has been a great sponsor as well. So, so you, you touched on something very interesting there. You talked about the kind of the creative. Uh, feedback loop that you get when you write some code yeah. and you see what you did and, and I don't I don't know if people that aren't involved in technology really understand kind of this mystery of code but but in fact you're it's it's a vehicle for creation I wonder if you can share kind of what that feels like when you you know you're able to execute on an idea and put it into play and then actually see it yeah it, it's amazing and I've, I've talked about this before where you know the part of the reason why I'm an engineer is that you know if I can see it if I can think it I can dream it I can do it I know that I, you know especially now given you know that uh, it's it's so cheap to basically do computing. You know the tools. You know are almost a commodity uh, in many cases. Uh, if you see something, and I get a lot of inspiration from anime as an example. Um, you know you can actually go off. You know in a couple of weeks and actually you know build and, and and get it done and build it. Whether it's you know building a you know a, a robot. You know that's going to do something automated in in your home, or just a piece of code that's going to improve your productivity. Uh, and it's just an amazing feeling feeling to be able to see that and then um, and then put it out there also for other people. To, to actually see and use. So. so before we wrap, now you've you know you you mentioned you have some great mentorship, you have some great sponsorship. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you um, put you on the spot for a minute for for young girls and and families with with young girls and young women. What would you uh, say to them? What advice could you give uh, in a little snippet? Um, maybe they'll call you and ask for you to be their sponsor. But right here, you know, what, what advice would you give to, uh, to really young women who are not sure if they want to pursue this? Maybe they're a little apprehensive. What would you share from your experience? Yeah, I would say, you know, just persevere. Um, try it. Uh, if you fail the first time, try it again. You know, that, that happens to all of us. Uh, if you stick to it uh, and uh, expose yourself, you know, to, to multiple things, um, you'll be amazed at sort of the things that you can actually create and, and do. We need more women in tech. So. Desi, great. That's great. Persevere, right? You can't be more simple. It's not easy. Nothing, nothing that's ever worthwhile in life is, right? Because if, if it was easy, everybody would do it. So <laughs> thanks for taking a few minutes to stop by. I'm Jeff Frick. We are at the Grace Hopper Celebration of Women in Computing here in Phoenix, Arizona at the Phoenix Convention Center.